20 years of protest against the development of Jumbo Glacier has not diminished the enthusiasm nor the number of protesters, as a rally held in Nelson on the weekend showed. Keep Jumbo The rally was hosted by local MLA Michelle Mungal, who warned that the government would be making a decision about Jumbo in the next few months. And we need to make sure that Steve Thompson, the Minister of Natural Resource Operation, hears us loud and clear. We want to make sure that they know that there's no confusion in the Kootenays when it comes to Jumbo Glacier. We want it wild and we're going to make sure that it stays wild. The issues on the table include the negative impact development will have on wild animal populations as well as the assumed burden it will place on BC taxpayers. He said, if this resort is built in the Jumbo Valley, it's the beginning of the end of the Purcell grizzly bear. Now that's sobering, isn't it? The road alone is up into the many, 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 many millions of dollars. And guess who's going to maintain it? Who's going to do the... Yeah, the taxpayers of British Columbia. There was also discussion about the Environmental Assessment Act. Here today, so I want to make an appeal to you whether or not you're in government, please start putting forward amendments to the Environmental Assessment Act in this province. It has no peace. We have been fighting for 20 years. We need an Environmental Assessment Act that has a triple bottom line accounting mechanism that integrates environmental, economic, and social in one process. The raging grannies were in attendance and prepared a song. NDP leadership contender Adrian Dix was also in attendance to show his support. Well, I want to say what you're doing here is hugely important for the whole province. I mean, this issue has been decided on the facts. This project makes no sense economically, it makes no sense for the ecosystem, it makes no sense for the environment. Overwhelmingly, First Nations oppose it, unanimously. Overwhelmingly, 92% of people in the environmental assessment process who contributed opposed the project, communities opposed the project, and people across the province opposed the project. The facts have been decided. This is a bad project. To learn more or find out how to get involved, go to www.ecosociety.ca or www.keepitwild.ca. Both sites have associated Facebook pages as well. For Small Town Films in Nelson, I'm Miriam Niederbar.